Hello, this video is about how to use Geronimo Flightpad in a free trial mode. So when you install Geronimo Flightpad, accept the disclaimer and uh, after a few seconds you will see this screen here. Please start, always start the app with the green button, start without pro account. You will then see this screen here where you can choose from the variety of aircraft. You can filter them here by manufacturers and you can basically uh, choose any aircraft for this free trial. However, the uh, features uh, such as weight and balance, uh, basic empty weight input and also performance computations will be locked. So you can click on any of these and then um, click on the button add as a trial. You can do so for multiple aircraft. Let's say we also uh, select a helicopter here, add as a trial and then you click the yellow button load aircraft. This might take a half minute or so depending on internet speed and also on the complexity of the aircraft. You will then see the setup screen here and um, here you usually could enter basic empty weight data and so forth however it's the trial mode so you cannot do this um, but you can click on these buttons here create a flight with this aircraft. So let's start with the Cessna and you will now see the uh, main screen here, the um, main weight and balance screen. From here you can enter the weights for the seats or you can just click on a seat to enter a what we call quick load weight or you can use the slider or you can tap here on these uh, sections and enter the weight manually. As soon as you do so you will see that uh, the crosses here for the takeoff mass landing and zero fuel mass are changing. And if you should um, uh, exceed one of the CG envelope, you will get a red warning like this. You can do the same for the helicopter. So you can go to the flight manager and create a new flight. And here you have again the option to select um, a flight with one of these aircraft. So you can cl click create a new flight with the aircraft and this time we have a helicopter here. Same thing here, you can load it up, uh, you can change fuel and uh, also you could uh, change basic flight settings. You, you can enter an ID, departure and destination and so on. You can also check basic uh, performance sections, however these are locked here. Uh, you can just see the performance chart, but you cannot change uh, the performance values itself. So you have now created a second flight and you can see that here in the flight manager we have two flights. Uh, you can now go to the flight manager and select the older flight, the one with the Cessna, or you can use these buttons previews and next to switch between them. You can now also open up here the fixed wing takeoff, climb, landing and cruise computations. As you can see here this is the takeoff. You can choose a runway heading and length. However, uh, again it's uh, very limited because you cannot set outside air temperature and pressure altitude. Um, but you see here this is the climb screen where you can do climb computations, landing and cruise. You can check the load manifest where you can see all the items that are on board and uh, you can check the uh, CG envelope. Down here you would have the option to sign the um, weight and balance or the load manifest and send it via email. You can also export the load manifest to other uh, apps on your iPad or a Dropbox and so on using this button here. You can change the aircraft anytime by either going to the flight manager or you can go to setup and uh, there you can click on setup aircraft where you can delete them, uh, them here or even better you go to the my aircraft page and you can delete them here. So if you're unsure how to get there there are multiple ways so you can go either um, that way that I just showed you or you go select and manage aircraft directly. This is this button here and now you can delete the aircraft that you just selected and you can choose a new one. Let's say a diamond and as it uh, added as a trial again and then uh, make sure to uh, click this yellow button here to start uh, the new data. 
once loaded, you can again click on create a flight with this aircraft. And here you go. You can also click on configurations and the edit configuration button. And here you can see you can remove items. And I show you this rather with a helicopter because there is not much to do here. So let's go to uh, the settings page and let's load a helicopter again. So in this case, let's choose a bell B3 and uh, let's create an aircraft with this or a flight with this aircraft. I'm sorry. And here you see the bell and here we can again click on configuration and uh, here we can click on edit configuration and here you have much more options. You can switch off the doors, for example, um, or the seats. However, when you do so, uh, keep in mind that the seat weights are not subtracted automatically. So if you have an aircraft without seats and without doors, you need to change the basic empty mass. And that is not possible here in the trial mode. So, But uh, again, later on you can do that um, in the setup, on the setup page. Uh, you can also use this button, Edit Custom Stations. And here you can edit uh, and add, for example, a helicopter basket. And uh, here you click on the symbol until you see a, a basket symbol, for example. And um, here you can add then the weight of the basket itself. So let's keep it 50. The arm is maybe 65 or you can change that to 70. And then you can click on add the station and you will see the um, basket is there in the center, which makes no sense. Of course, we should enter uh, a lateral arm for this. So let's say we put, want to put it on the right hand side. And as soon as you do so, you see that you can update the station and you see where the uh, basket is. Of course, it would make sense if you have the real data for that basket. Then you enter it like this. And as soon as you're done, you can go to back to stations. And you can also close this window and you have the basket right there where you can enter weight uh, for this particular basket. So now if you create a new flight uh, with this same aircraft, you will lose all this, the, the basket. So do not create a new flight if you want to keep the basket, but choose copy current flight. So now you have two flights set up uh, with a basket. And now we can load the helicopter, let's say like this. And you can switch between these two flights and compare them. So here you see, or you, we can maybe have less weight here on the basket and you can now switch between those flights. If you want to start all over, you can go to the flight manager and reset all flights. Here you are, and then you can start from scratch. And you see, if you do so, the basket will be deleted, of course. If you have a complex aircraft like this with basket and so on, then I would recommend to use or to contact us in order to use a, a pro account, which uh, is of course a lot better and allows to save crew data and uh, basic empty weights um, all online on our servers. So that would be a much better option uh, than uh, entering complex things like baskets or searchlights all the time. Yeah, that was the quick tour about the free trial for a Jaronimo Flypad. And let us know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.